Welcome to the 12 Step Recovery Evolution podcast. Visit recoveryevolution.co.uk for more episodes, helpful resources, and links to our social media. Also visit the site for information on how you can attend a future Zoom session or workshop live. Thank you. Is that about um, forgiveness? Is I, I kind of designed this story some years ago because, again, it's something that you get to talk about a lot. And, you know, the people that have been really abused or really hurt by their families or, or parents or other people, it can be quite quite a tall order to ask them to forgive because again they they they, they, they don't always understand what that's really kind of meaning and and uh and what it said so i sort of come up with a story to make it a little bit clearer which i guess kind of like fits into that bit and i call it the one shoe i call it the one shoe the story the one shoe and it's a it's a story that says that imagine that you're born with one shoe And everybody's born with this one perfect shoe. But to get your other shoe, that's the job of your family. The job of your family and your extended family and your community. And if they were completely perfect, that as you developed, that you would get a shoe that matches the one that you were born with. And you'd have these two perfect shoes. And as you walk through life, when you come to a cold patch in your life, because we all come to cold patches, but you've got your shoes on and you walk through it. And even though it's not completely comfortable, it's not too bad because you've got your one shoe. And when you you got your two shoes, when you come to a, a gravelly patch in life and you walk across the gravel and it's a bit crunchy and a bit slippery, but you know, you've got your two shoes on and you get through it and, and you're doing all right. And when you come to a wet patch or a hot patch or a, with glass or whatever life can throw at you. If you've got your two shoes, you tend to be able to have the ability to get through it in a pretty reasonable manner and maybe even learn something. But with the people that tend to come to me that I tell them this story, they they kind of, their story is, oh, I've got my sock gets wet. I've got holes in my sock. The gravel keeps sticking in my foot. I've got a limp and life's really difficult. What's wrong with me? And it's like, oh man, look, you need, You've only got one shoe. And they're like, where am I meant to get the other shoe from? And you go, well, you're meant to get it from your mum and dad and your extended family and your, your community. Oh, I knew it was their fault. I knew it was their fault. It, and, and he's like, well, yeah, but kind of. But hang on a minute. Look, have you got a family photograph? Can you, can you pull up a family photograph in your head from when you were young? And you can see all your family, maybe at a wedding or a party. Look at that, look at that photograph in your head. Now, the question I'm going to ask is, how many of them people would you say in your family have got two shoes? Now, most people go, mm, you know what? They probably none of them, really. They probably were all pretty dysfunctional. And then you go, well, but have a look at the shoe on their foot. And you might see their foot with a little bit of leather flapped over it, a bit of sellotape, a bit of duct tape. And I go, mate, look, isn't it funny, though, that that shoe on your mum's foot, that shoe on your dad's foot, you kind of can see that's kind of is on your foot. They have given you what they got, but they ain't got two shoes. And then people go, you're right, I can... I can see that they're spiritually sick too, that they haven't got two shoes. It's like, well, you have to forgive them then, don't you? And they go, yeah, you know what? Under them circumstances, now I see it, I can forgive them. And then I say, what's the problem? And they go, well, there ain't one, is there? I said, yes, there is. You still only got one bloody shoe. See, forgiving people doesn't, forgiving your parents doesn't make them functional. Forgiving your parents doesn't make you functional. See, forgiveness doesn't change much. Well, it does in the sense of this. Forgiveness is the doorway to healing. 
See, forgiveness, when you actually forgive, it doesn't change what happened. And what happened isn't right a lot of the time. It says that back. It says that the world and the people are quite often wrong. And your parents were probably wrong based on the fact that they've only got one shoe. Which doesn't make it right. So you're not, when you're forgiving them, you're not saying what they did was right. Nobody's saying that. But what it's saying is if you don't forgive them, you're going to continue to suffer for that wrong, for that hurt, for that offence, from that debt, from that sin. So forgiveness can give you instant relief from that pain. And from that place of relief, then you can look at, well, what can we do about it? So for me, forgiveness, one of the, the greatest things is that when I actually understand it and learn to give it, it takes away the pain straight away. It doesn't take away the problem. That's something that may need some work. But, it, but then you can start dealing with people of a place of, look, hurt people hurt people. So when I'm not hurt, I can help people.